Okay, we're in the quarterfinals, Sunday the 20th of March, 2pm, Gold Star Ground. Don't buy any tickets because they've all sold out anyway. They've all <laughs> gone. It's too late. You can't get them. Right. But we're playing uh, the Tractor Girls, who I'm really impressed with. I've seen a couple of their matches as well. I might even go and try and support them on the side on a few other things. And if people don't know, just before I bring Ali in to do all more of the techie stuff, uh, they're in the Southern Premier Division along with Southampton, Gillingham, Cardiff, Oxford, and a team that we do love, the London Bees, right, huh? Yep, absolutely. Yeah. Ipswich are right at the top uh, of the division, 51 points and plus 53 goals. So uh, they're flying at the moment, eh? Yeah, it's not It's not going to be an easy walkover. I know a few of our fans probably thought that when it came out um but it's mm. not they're a tough team they've they've battled a lot to get as far as they have and they've got home advantage it's going to be a cracker but we've you know we know how tough that they are that that you know it's always a physical a physical lead so we're gonna be it's yeah it's not gonna be easy it's not gonna be like a five nil or something like that that's for sure no absolutely because we played a, a similar team in, a similar league, but, um, in the fa cup last year um with chelsea uh, was it chelsea and uh so yeah. that was a goal fest but i don't think it's which is going to be no well that was at home as well wasn't it yeah so that was a big difference there but yeah i mean look so let's have a little bit of a talk because say i know a little bit about the tractor girls um mainly i think because they were called the tractor girls it was always like oh my goodness yeah so it's like the ipswich thing um but to me it's like the really it's the 27 year old that they've got been there since day dot i think 114 goals for the club 15 just for this season as well you know so you know that's going to be a tough one, you know. Uh, Thomas, Natasha Thomas, her name. Yep. Do you know much about her or anything about her? Yeah, I think Natasha has been, like you said, been there with the club year dot and mm. has scored some amazing goals for them. And then recently her partnership with Zoe Barrett has been that's it. Yeah. amazing. And that's what we've got to watch out for. Those are the two up front we've got to watch out for because they are yeah. flying this season. Yeah. Yeah, so Zoe Barrett with uh, 10 goals. <laughs> Lucy O'Brien with nine goals, but talking about assists, Abby Lafayette's the one you've got to watch. She's the one with 10 assists, Al. She's a bit, it, it, yeah, she um, she reminds me a little bit of us fit Cover. Oh. <laughs> I know. Yeah, so uh, definitely a lot to watch out for there regarding that. So, as you say, it's not going to be a goal fest. It's going to be, a, or is it going to be a goal fest? See, I think, well, it might be, but it might not be all our own way. Mm. That's the thing, <laughs> yeah. you know. It's one of those things that we can't underestimate them because they're going to play gritty football. Yeah. Like We talk about liking physical um, players, it's, which is a very physical team. Now, they came up against Man City in their last furthest um, exit. And again, That's unfortunately, it. they lost like 10-0. And I sure. don't think it's going to be like that. They're going to have learned from that, grown from that, solidified um, mm. I think it's definitely doable. I definitely think mm. that, you know, we can win and we should hopefully win. I mean, we'll be public enemy number one when we win, but... <laughs> <laughs> I like the confidence there when we win as well, because you never know, it's football, isn't it? Anything can yeah. happen, to be fair. Yeah, there's going to be an awful lot of Ipswich supporters there as well, more than... Uh, it's great to see that they're sold out as well. It's just a shame that, obviously, because it's just been announced as well, there's yeah. going to be an influx of money uh, into the cup next season um, yep. so it's a shame that the tractor girls have missed out because they're going to get just a few hundred quid for this one so yep. yeah but um, that's another uh, story along the way there but yeah so it's going to be an exciting one it's going to be just such a great match to be at I think it's going to be one of those most memorable matches so far that yep. we're going to have as a West Ham fan that's for sure cannot wait Al cannot wait yeah and uh, it has to be said though it's really exciting because it's the furthest we've got since we went on our final run um so it's the first time we've got back to the quarters <laughs> since then we've probably got a, I'm gonna say we've got a favorable draw in the fact that I'm not saying that we're gonna win but the fact that we have got the unknown in um Ipswich whereas I, I think that's going to give the team a bit of confidence, funny enough, because yeah. if we'd say we'd drawn Chelsea, well, we've never beaten Chelsea, we've managed to draw and that's about it. You know, mm. we've never beaten Arsenal. We've only just beaten Man City this season, um, at the beginning of the season. Yes, so that would have probably been quite a painful mm. 
match for them. So the fact that it's unknown means that we we're giving them, yeah. you know. I think you're right. A boost and a confidence. Yeah, but obviously, because I, I was convinced that we was going to draw Chelsea in the quarterfinals. <laughs> I was so shocked. I was even going to put a bet on it. But yeah, so uh, Coventry, Everton as well, and uh, obviously Birmingham as well, yep. have also uh, in, in, in the quarterfinals. So no matter what happens, I think it's just going to be an absolutely cracking game. I just think it's going to, you know, I love physical games. I love the old school yep. games. So there's certainly going to be a lot of that going on. Just hope that there's be no injuries, though, I must admit. Yes, exactly. Okay, so Joe Sheehan, the gaffer, we are all going to be down there, so be careful. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so uh, scoreline now, it's a difficult one, isn't it? I'm going to say it's 3 1 West Ham. Ooh, okay, I'm going to go 4 2 then. I think it is going to be a bit of a goal fest. I think it's going to, I think they're going to go in front and surprise us, and then we're going to come back and really yeah. go for it. But yeah, it's going to be a brilliant match. I can't wait. Yeah, Al, brilliant again. And I will see you soon. So thanks ever so much for listening in. Yeah. There's all the sort of stuff going at the bottom where you can catch us as well. I hope it's down there because I look really silly again <laughs> if, if I've <laughs> not done dance. that. Yeah, doing a little dance. Yeah, because that is my best dance move anyway. Yeah, anyway, that's <laughs> another story. Right. Cheers, Al. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.